We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome to the Freak Show, where our one rule is Old Bumpy yells at Cloud. Get up, man! Or something. I don't know. Anyway, I'm your host today, Bumpy McSquiggums. Or Old Bumpy McSquiggums, I, I guess. And we're playing a dot age or as i wanted to call it dotage or dotage maybe but i believe it is actually dot age and it is from michelle piero avano only seen on october 4th 2023 now i've kind of been following this for quite a while and then i think it disappeared off of like it's usually on social media is when i'm following stuff kind of disappeared off my feed or something i don't know i hadn't heard from this in a while and then all of a sudden boop, developer reached out and said hey play this i'm like yeah sure uh, so, through all the chaos and craziness of the past almost month at this point, um, we're here. We're going to play it. And we're going to play it before, you know, the game's out. It's, it's great. Well, I should be ready for whenever I'm allowed to post. So, fantastic. Let's get in and play. I've not actually touched this at all yet, so we're guns to do that right now. Okay. And, with all the settings out of the way now, let's let's get in and play. Choose our elder. It is Mattis. Let me tell you the story of how our very own village was born. I was so young back then. This is the tale of a curse that we were destined to face, and how we overcame it through cooperation. Sweet. Uh, the terrain, <laughs> grumpy, uh, is a very short-tempered and no patience for slackers. Yep. Uh, okay, no signposts. These buildings are known when the story starts. These buildings are known when the story starts. Uh, signpost and forager. All right, uh, forager. Starting resources, 16 wood, 20 berries. Have no idea if that's good or bad. And we're going to be in the valley. Uh, normal. We're, we're probably going to run normal, but we'll, we'll go through these here in a second. Looks like there's three other elders that we'll probably unlock as time goes on, which, uh, sounds good. Let's see what relax is. Events barely do anything. I live in peace. Difficulty multiplier, 20%. Easier events are... Or sorry, easier. Events are easier to influence. Difficulty is 50%. Then we have the 100%. A challenging survival experience. Events are relentless. Prepare to die. That's 200%. And finally, challenge, which we can't do yet because we have to be amazing or something. I don't know. It's good. All right, Mattis. Take us away, sir. Let me tell you a story. It begins before any of you were born. We had been traveling for days in strange lands. This is the story of how our village was born. The story of how we defeated the prophecy. And the story... Oh. It all began in a lush, secluded valley that we found after several days of traveling. Just a few more steps, you slackers. We are almost there. My feet hurt. Sweet. Oh, I was so young then. I convinced some pips to follow me into the valley. Did you bring Gladys Knight as well? No? Maybe? This is it. This is the place I told you about. We have to stop here. You better not be lying about this new life, Elder. Impertinent fool. Follow my example and we will all be well. Now get to work. We started working straight away on the construction of our village. All right, I'm here for it. Let's do this thing. Um... I think this is the first time I'm telling you this story, isn't it? It is. You better pay attention, because I'm not going to repeat this twice. You can always click this button to skip the tutorial. I don't want to skip the tutorial. The village was in a secluded, faraway valley. Use WAS to pan to the, or at the edges of the screen. Or hold right-click to move your view. Use the scroll wheel to zoom in. Sorry, to zoom in. Sorry, sorry. I was the elder of the new village. Let me tell you what I did to make it thrive. 
The bivouac was our first structure. It defined the boundaries of our village, where we could safely build. Place it on any available terrain near berry bushes. All right. Oh, follow, follow, follow the tutorial. Okay, uh, this is right here. This is where I want to put it. No, I'm kidding. We could technically... No. Wait, do they drop feathers? I guess they do. All right. Well, we have the, the bivouac hanging out over here. I suppose we'll toss it right there. Just a little something something. Yeah, yeah, I think that I like that spot, maybe. Or I'm gonna regret this. I don't know. It's fine. We pips used to live in dwellings like this one. Hover over the dwelling and you will see that it is already full of pips. Yep, it is. I see this. Pips! Pips, yes, my fellow villagers. I used to tell them what to do every day. Hmm. I remember the first time I sent a pip to get food. To assign a pip to a building, click. Uh, building a structure or plant, click on it. Okay. Do 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 Great music. Uh, Pips followed my wise advice without question. The Pip is now working. Yeah! You can click on the title or the tile again to remove Pips. I don't think I want to do that. Pips work to produce resources daily. Hover over a building to see what it produces in the top right corner. Uh, what are you talking about, man? I mean, just above it? It produces four berries? Okay, what is, what is this? We found a few bushes full of berries, enough to last us the first few days. Bushes have a limited number of uses. The number at the top left shows how many uses are left. Okay, immediately answer the question that I had, and I love it. Thank you. We collected the resources we produced each day in a common pool in the village. Sweet. I like the fork and the knife. Each pip ate one piece of food every day. Available food is automatically allocated. I made sure that each pip was assigned to their daily task. See how many working pips there are in, are in the village and how many are idle. Sorry, I started kind of like going, Ooh, it's all the cool stuff up here. Ah, the busy pips. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I also recorded the current day and season. A busy elder, man. The game progresses in turns. Do not worry about time passing too quickly. I love that. See, this is something that, you know, w w it, this is a very nice change of pace. I do enjoy real-time stuff, but you guys know I, I have this love and passion for turn-based games. But I do I do often enjoy, you know, uh, colony survival sims or colony sims, whatever you want to call them, uh, where real-time you move around, you do all that stuff. But they're, I don't know, maybe I'm, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I, I'm not thinking clearly, but there seems to be kind of a little bit of a lack of that in a turn-based realm. I'm sure there are a few. I'm not bringing... Nothing's really come to mind other than stuff like Civilization, Age of Wonders, and stuff like that. But that's different. That's not the same as what this would be. So, yeah. Yeah, this is going to be a good time. Once I was satisfied with the daily tasks, we got right to work. Pass the turn by clicking on the sun. I don't want to do that. We got one dude working on berries, a bunch of people wandering around doing nothing. It's not a... Can, should I should I tell more people to do things? Well, okay. Hopefully that doesn't make them want, uh, the game want to murder me for trying to be more productive. Ooh, they all run in for the night. I like it. Ah, the chicken's asleep or whatever that is. Hold on. There was more. I remember it now. Oh. Memory retrieved. My memories. I can recall what happened. In my old age, I tend to get a little forgetful. As I tell you our story, old memories will resurface, so watch out for those epiphanies. I kind of want to do a different voice from, like, his current day and his past. It's, it's fine. I'll just stay with the Deckard voice the whole way through. Instead of a slight uh, variance. Pips can now build structures. Hey, we remember that we can build things. 
Placing buildings, every pip has the ability to build a building. Once you have chosen a building, you can place it anywhere in the village. An unoccupied pip will go there to build it, and it will take a few days. The building menu is divided into sections. Click on the services section. Okay. We needed a tinker, sorry, a thinker's post to help the pips come up with new ideas. True. Uh, each structure had a different cost to build. This one took a day and a few wood resources. Buildings were used by pips to produce. This one produced one knowledge in one day. They also had special requirements. The post could not be placed immediately next to another building, thinking pips needed silence. I carefully decided where to place the post. Place it. If a pip is free, it will be assigned to the building. Remember to assign a pip before passing your turn. All right. So this he's going to need space for his thinking grenades. I got you. I got you. I, I kind of want to shove him to like a secluded alcove somewhere. Like, like if I could throw him over here, I would have. But, you know, I think we're going to go hang out by the... Uh, yeah, I think we're going to hang out up here. It took only one day to build. Hover over the building to see how many turns are left. One. Yep, got it. You want to know how I made my how I made my decisions? Well, I have collected my wisdom in my Agepedia here. <laughs> Access it by clicking here. My Agepedia. I'm, I'm going to say Agepedia because it just flows better. My Agepedia contains information about buildings, resources, and more. When you see a question mark icon on your cursor, right click to access the Agepedia page for the hovered item. Take a look, then go back to your village and start building. What? I can see that. All right, all right, all right, hold on. Berry shrubs, these bushes are full of thorns, yet Pips insisted on picking the fruit with their bare hands. They never listened to me. <laughs> oh, it could be destroyed in one hit. All right, fertile. I don't know what this is. We get four seeds out of it, maybe? I don't know. Okay. The forager, the grasslands around the valley were a treasure trove of herbs and seeds. Some were larger, others deadlier, but still seeds. Huh. Okay. Woodpile, the first pips collected fallen branches to take home for timber. Hitting the trees instead did not seem to have any effect. Then the cabin, we built our first houses as quickly as we could with little thought for durability. One too many of them fell on the inhabitants. Well, that's not good. The bivouac. This bivouac was a miserable excuse for a shelter, but we had to travel light to reach our valley. We were lucky to get any sleep at all, with all the snoring and tossing and turning and probably flatulence, I'm just saying. The thinker's post. Pips had a lot of ideas for the village, but to work them out, they needed their own space and a little bit of quiet. And finally, the signpost. Yes, our village was not too big. But some of the pips had such a poor sense of direction that they could get lost after just a few steps. Well, that's not good. All right, cool. Let's let's head back. We went through the Agepedia. Take a look. Okay, we did that. Uh huh. <clears throat> okay, so we did the thing. Wait, is that it? Are we are we weapons free now, or like what, what's going on? Oh, we can move with Waz as well. I think they said that, and I just did not pay attention because I'm dumb. Forger. Fires wood strength within one tile. Interesting. I think I'll toss it there. Okay, what else we got? We got raw, we got a wood pile. I think we're gonna go there with the wood pile. All right. So how many? Uh, no, nope, all, all the all the pips are busy. All right. So here's here's my thought. We remove you. We put you here. Okay. We're gonna remove you as well. Even though you actually will keep you there. You were the one that started it all. 
Um, actually, all right, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put you here. I want this one gone for reasons. Um, yeah, it's gonna be fine. Then we're gonna do this, and you're building that. So that's one, two, and three. And we have dwellings. This will this allow us to get more? That's the bivouac. All right. Uh, I don't really have enough people to do other things at this point, so... What does this do? Tasks. Oh, okay. Okay, I think we're good. Let's, uh, let's end our turn. Got some food. We got people building buildings. People om-nomming up on the stuff. Everybody going in for nappy nap time? Oh, we got two chickens. Multiple productions. Some buildings can take different inputs and produce different resources as well. When this happens, you can use the action button to rotate the available production using the action button. Ah, okay. Gotcha. Oh, we got another memory retrieved. Uh, research. We can now research new buildings because we have the Thinker's Lodge. Uh, pips came to these lands with little knowledge, but they can be very brilliant if they take their time. Some buildings produce knowledge that can be used to discover new buildings. All right. Some pips focused on harvesting knowledge that we could use to discover new buildings. Click on the research button to see what we can do. I will face a great evil. No, oh, all right. Each building requires the production of a certain amount of knowledge to be discovered. I alone chose where to focus the research efforts. Hover over the building to see its details, then click on it. Hover over. Does it accrued well? I mean, I don't really seem to have any choices here. Okay, it's going to take two days, two wood, to build. And then to do whatever it's going to do is another one day. And then we go, oh, we can get water one a day. Okay. Uh, X2 during water events heals one burning pips with water. <laughs> okay. As we discovered new buildings, we gained access to even more brilliant ideas. All right. I can't remember them now, but we had a lot of different ideas. I am sure that they will come to me later. New research ideas will appear after you complete the previous ones. Cool. All right, and then the next one, we already have the forger unlocked. Do, do, do we need somebody? Oh, yeah, we have somebody up there doing the research. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. There's not really anything else for us to do right now. We got the people collecting the wood. Uh, the far. What, what are these? What are. What, hemp. What, what? How does that help me? What does that do? No, nope, that's not what I want. It said about the. Something about the action button? Do I right. Ah, there it is. Change production. Go from hemp to seeds. Or from seeds to berries. Uh, we're going to be okay on berries for a while. I think we will stick with uh, hemp, and then we'll probably go with seeds maybe for a little bit. I don't know. I think this is fine. Sorry, I know. I upset you. All right. I, I think we, we're just good. Okay. It's going to take us four days to research it out. Then it'll take us two days to build it, and then we get one water per day. I think that's how all that works. How does this work exactly? Every one day we get two. Okay, we get the whatever it says there. All right, that's fine. All right, and how uh, two more before we switch to a new berry plant. How do we get more people? Do we need more lodging? We need more lodging, I bet. All right. I am going to make a new cabin. Will not be in the woods. But I'm going to need someone to go and deal with that. I think our wood collector is going to be the one. It'll take two days to build. Alright. 
Gobble gobble. Nom 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 nom. Got one more day to build it. They're running back on in. This is great. Yeah, I don't think there's really anything else for us to do. Let's just end the day again. All right. Do we automatically just get two new people or no? I'm going to guess no. Procreation. We're about to find out. Pips can now make new babies. Ah, the power of love. If a dwelling has enough empty space, Pips can make a baby. And they should. If we want the village to thrive. Send two Pips with some extra food to that building and they'll spend the next night together. And make a new baby, because that's, that's exactly how that works. Uh, any two free pips will do, no matter what they look like. Pips can be very fer fertile. Um, sure. That's not how that works, by the way. But it could be. But it's not. But pips, they're, they're a little bit different. <clears throat> it did not take long to realize that we needed more pips. I was too old, but my fellow pips were healthy and fertile. It is time for, <clears throat> it is time for the birds and the bees talk. Bzz, 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 bzz. It's quite simple. All you need is a happy couple and some food. That is that is the talk. I remember it well. Any two free pips will do. Well, we don't have any two. You'll need at least two free pips for this to work. Free some pips. Free the pips! Alright, guess what? We're not going to get any more hemp. And I did say hemp instead of hemp. It's fine. Pips need an intimate place. Right-click to open the actions. When one ordered pips, sorry, when I ordered pips to reproduce, they were more than happy to accept. Choose the make a baby action. I, I, I'll guess that's what that is. Good luck, everybody else. Oh, they got little flowers. Oh, they're so creepy and adorable. The two pips would spend the... Uh, <laughs> The two pips would spend the next day making the baby. I hope everything is clear now. I won't explain it again. Well, that's fair. Okay, well, I guess we're going making a baby. Where'd the baby be? Oh, God. Oh, that's creepy. Tiro is growing. Baby Tiro is, is made... He, he's got his own house, I, I guess. When a, when a child is born, it becomes an adult after a few days. Children are not strong or disciplined enough to work, so they must play around the house all day. Remember to feed them, too. Though, as they eat, just like adults. Okay. Hey, the crude well research is done. Hey, we can research growth. Some terrains may have special properties that can affect the output of buildings. The building that can take advantage of that terrain is built on top of it. Its output will increase. Cool. Uh, research pages. Oh yes, I remember now. We had ideas for many different types of structures. Sometimes I remember a new research section and it appeared in the research tree. Okay. I should all be Decker Kane voice probably, but eh. Oh, okay. Tomato fields. Uh, tomato. Haha, <laughs> tilled soil. Herb picker. Medicinal herb. Tomato field, herb picker, tilled soil. Add soil terrain. Do I need that? Interesting. Um, I think I'm gonna go with you. Oh, that's cultivation. And then we have growth. Uh, hunting tent. The raw white meat. And the chicken den hen chicken hunting tent chicken hen holds three chickens 
attracts wild events. Oh. Terrifying. Hunting critters within two. That seems like a very limiting thing. I don't know that I'd want that right now. I, I, I think we're fine with what we, we've chosen here. Food. Sorry. Uh, resource cap max. Support. Uh, sorry, the village can support up to this number of a single resource. If more are produced, they will get discarded. Ah, okay, good to know. All right, should we should we make another baby? A child is already growing here. Okay, we can't make another baby there, but that is good to know. I also think I'm going to switch this out. I get some seeds going here. From, all right, the bush is gone. It's done, but it's still there. Is there a way to get rid of that? Uh, I don't know. Kids run around making a, a mockery of Earth thing. I, that's fine. What do we have here now? Oh, the crude well. We yeah, we should build that, shouldn't we? Um. It would have probably been better there, but that, that spot's already used. All right. Uh. Hmm. All right. Well, I think we're gonna stop you for a minute, and you're gonna come over here, and you're gonna build this well. We might be okay. And we also might very well not be okay. Well, we'll see. He's going back into his solo house. We have three chickens chilling over here. Alright. Apparently it takes two days to build the well. We knew that. Got some more seeds. We would like to get a little bit more of the old wood, but I got at this stage, maybe it makes more sense to do some more burr bushes. Burr bush. And we'll keep the research going. All right, I think the kid will grow up this turn, maybe? We built a crude well. Why is he just constantly swearing? Kid did not grow up. Hurry up, kid. We need a we need a wood farmer or a farmer. Why do you hang out with Pavlov's doggies? The Pavlov doggy. Oh, we got a bunch of seeds. I think I might grab some more hemp or maybe some berries. Because we're not getting enough berries for what we have. Ooh, you had a little strong arm situation going on there. Alright, we have our very first water. We have arrived, ladies and gentlemen, at Waterland. Nope, stay there. Um, let's get some more of the camp going. Can I blow this up? I can dismantle it. Uh, you. Uh, this might be a bad idea. But I'm going to try it. I want that spot free. Give it to me. Alright, so we got. Boom! We got ourselves some seeds. Very much approved of that. They're all going to om nom. A little socializing. Kid's going back into his house. And he's going to pop out as an adult now. Hey, Tiro reached adulthood. Oh, oh god. Yeah, that happens every time somebody reaches adulthood. It's true. The apocalypse vision. I remember it vividly. Me too. Events will appear. Our village is cursed. Many events with unpredictable consequences can occur when you pass the turn between each day and the next. Events can be anything, a shift in the winds, the creation of a new bond, symptoms of a new disease, or just the usual earthquake. Most events have negative effects, so pray that you are lucky. 
The visions came to me. I saw the future, and the world is doomed. The apocalypse is coming. You brought us here to... to, to die? Don't be stupid. We are here for a reason. We can stop this. Let me tell you about my prophecy. In an age before ages existed, I was a young man. Sorry. Uh, <clears throat> According to what I saw, we will encounter many events in the near future. I carefully noted all the days of the year. This is the current day. Oh, boy. I wrote down all my visions. Each one would come on a certain day. The first one was only a few days away. Well, that's bad. And a doom event awaits us at the end. We must prepare for it. A doom event, you say? Yeah, that seems bad. A very powerful event. A doom was destined to come in the near future. Well, this seems terrible. Well, nothing like knowing your future, I guess. You said we'd find a new life here. No. You said we'd find a new life here. You lied to us. You, disres <clears throat> you disrespectful fool. Are you calling me a liar? Work hard and the dooms can be defeated. This is what I saw. Now that you all know about the prophecy, we need to work hard to survive. It's true. What the? Oh. Oh, goody. Oh, uh, <clears throat> thanks to my visions, I was able to warn everyone of what was about to happen. Visions of the future events will appear here. My visions were tied to the domains, the forces that threatened the village. This one was sleeping. Okay. Fear domain. The fear domain looms. In difficult times, the howling of the wind and the harshness of life can drive a pip mad. That seems bad. The fear domain feeds on the inner struggles and social tensions of your pips. When its threat is high, pips will commit atrocious acts, controlled by their fears. Place buildings that make your pips happy and entertain to combat fear events. Pips can also find happiness in positive social relationships, including pets. An omen may appear within the prophecy. Nothing can be done about an omen. The event will arrive, and it will make things worse, just as predicted. Omens will always increase the threat of the domain they are associated with, making subsequent events stronger. This is just the way it is. What's well, not great? A doomed village. Alright, ladies and gentle folk, I think that is going to do it for our very first episode. Uh, I'm having fun with this. We're taking it slow. We're learning the ins, the outs, and all of that as we go. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys get a chance to grab the game once it's out on October 4th, 2023. Again, it is dot age or dotage. Kind of one word. That's how you can search for it. Uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, big shout out and thank you once again to the developer for reaching out to me and sending this my way. Uh, it's very cool. Um, and it's great. I, I wanted to play this. And I forgot about this, sort of. Not, not really forgot about it, but I hadn't heard about it in a while. So it was very, very cool to actually, you know, have it sent my way without me having to ask. It's nice. Anyway, folks, if you want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, any of that stuff that I can find, I'm going to throw it down below in the description of the video and various links, just like I always do. And until the very next episode, I have been your host, Bobby McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show. We play, we fight, we conquer.